How's it going, everybody? It's Luis Rosales. So today, I wanted to talk about all the people who are mocking the U.S. Space Force for having, you know, the, the green uniforms. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but apparently the U.S. Space Force is now rocking some green uniforms. Now, I have to say, you know, it is kind of weird. You know, I was kind of looking at it like, you know, why are they going to wear green uniforms? So I started looking into it and to, and to you know, what people were saying about it. And uh, the vast majority of people who are commenting about the uniforms, you know, they're just completely mocking it. So what I found out and what I've read online is that they are wearing uh, the fatigues or old fatigues from the Army and uh, the U.S. Air Force. So they're reusing these uniforms from uh, from other branches of the of the military. The reason why they are reusing these uniforms is to save money because R&D or you know research and development for developing new new uniforms costs upwards of like anywhere between I want to say a hundred thousand dollars to a million dollars, possibly even more. Um, you know, looking for the right materials, the right coloring, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, high durability uniforms like they cost money. They cost a whole lot of money. So now people were complaining not just about that, but um, you know, like the coloring out in space. How can you have green outside in space? You know, it's gonna be pointless. How can it be camouflaged if you're wearing green in space with those uniforms? And I gotta say with this, that is one of the stupidest, dumbest fucking arguments that I have ever heard. First off, ladies and gentlemen, these uniforms are not gonna be worn outside of a vessel in space. Okay, because you know why? Humans can't fucking survive in space. So these uniforms aren't going to fucking matter <laughs> at the end of the day because they're going to have space suits in space. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense to you, you guys, but that makes plenty of sense to fucking me. Um, at the end of the day, people are mocking the U.S. Space Force, you know, created by Donald Trump. Uh, you know, mock it as much as you may, uh, but right now it is what it is. We have a Space Force command. Now this command is a, is a branch, I believe, of the United States Air Force, because I believe they had the, the, space, the space command in the US Air Force. But now officially, this branch of the military is a part of the United States Air Force. So naturally, they would probably be, be rocking the same kind of uniforms, the same kind of combat fatigues. So, I, you know, I took the time to, to, I guess, do my research regarding this. You know, it's about saving money. It's about saving money and at the end of the day, mocking, wearing camouflage stuff that's green in space is dumb. They're going to be inside a vessel the entire time. No one's going to see them. The only thing that needs to be cam camouflaged is the vessel itself in space or the person's spacesuit in space. Their fatigues, their combat uniforms aren't really going to matter at the end of the day, like for real. Also, I want to mention that we're not going to see a, a manned, a, you know, an actual deployment of a manned spacecraft under the branch or under the jurisdiction of the United States Space Force for like, what, another 5, 7, 10, 20 years? I don't expect a manned mission for a fucking a while, a long ass while. And by that time, they'll probably have better fatigues, different designs, who knows. But at the end of the day, this, this, this whole thing is just fucking ridiculous. Uh, I think the Space Force is actually really fucking cool. And I feel like uh, it's going to divert money away from NASA. And it's going to be pushed, obviously, towards the United States Space Force. So I think that's going to be very interesting to see where technology is going to bring us, especially where military technology is going to bring us in regards to, you know, military prowess in space. But yeah, that's all I wanted to mention. Again, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the United States Space Force. Like I said, I think it's a cool idea. Um, do you guys support it? Do you think it was a dumb idea? Let me know what you guys think and what... Uh, if you're in the military, um, in the United States Air Force specifically, what's your opinion about the Space Command versus uh, versus the United States Space Force specifically? Because I know that they have a Space Command specifically for the Air Force, which isn't, you know, I guess involved directly with the United States Space Force. I don't know too much about it, so if you guys want to explain your opinions about it or uh, educate me a little bit more on the issue, feel free to do so. I would love to hear your opinions and hear any thoughts or hear any facts regarding... Uh, you know, the U.S. Space Force and the U.S. Uh, Air Force Space Command. So anyways, that's it. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'm going to definitely see you guys in the next video. So, peace.